You're tuning into the Glad Rap channel. Welcome to Glad Rap on YouTube. You're watching it right here. <laughs> We're in the beautiful Auckland city. Nice sunny day. It's quite hot today. Labour weekend and we're here at ABA Arena Stadium. In association with Queensland Boxing and New Zealand Boxing, Anzac Super Series 6, the 20th of October 2018. Let's get it on. I've completely forgotten it's Labour Weekend. What's wrong with me? You know, three-day weekend. Hi, I'm Benjamin Watt, the boxing judge, the professional boxing judge, not amateur boxing judge. And alongside me, we've got the boxing superfan, Jerome. How is it going? Yeah, it's going good, man. Oh, great to be here. We've, we've watched um, a few fights um, already this afternoon. And, and yeah, this is my first uh, event uh, commentating. And, yeah, just really loving it and really impressed at these young guys and, and what they've got to offer. You have to say that uh, Jerome is, is like one of those people, he's not, he doesn't know nothing, he knows some stuff. I mean, he trains with Shane Cameron, eh? <laughs> Just on Monday mornings. Not just on Monday mornings, you know. You gotta keep fit, you know. So we've got another Australia versus New Zealand uh, bout right here, going back to the little, uh, what say, 12 year olds? Yeah, we got Perias in the red and Robinson in the blue. And the red corner seems to be in trouble. There's this really going at it. Again, it's the Australians. Are, they seem to be well prepared for this fight. Now we're at a stalemate. Don't know what's going to happen here. I'm liking the calmness. I'm liking the distance. The bounce. The New Zealander has is the southpaw. The Australians is pushing the New Zealander back. Here comes oh. the combinations from both men. Robinson really throwing it down in the blue. Don't know what's happening there, just, give, just pushing them apart. Don't know what's happening there, maybe too much uh, underneath of the glove and not on the knuckle. Yeah, just clean it up a little bit. Robinson just pushing it forward here. And again, they're strange, just, uh, just pushing them back. And then again, just pinning against the ropes. The New Zealanders being pinned against the ropes. And just treating New Zealand like a punching bag. Something like you do at CrossFit, just like... Yeah, it's... it's, it's uh it's been tough so far for Perez. What he needs to do is he, he needs to throw out that jab and circle out. He can't get caught in the corners because, you know, Robinson's just coming in, trapping him in the corner and going all at it. If I was playing Fight Night or U UFC, you know, that's just button bashing all over. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry, I did not expect that. <laughs> this is, welcome to button bashing. It's not something that you want you want to see. You want to actually see some good skill, but like the Australians come prepared, as you can see. Loving the music that's uh, playing here today, though. Yeah, we got the DJ out on a Saturday afternoon. Beginning of round two. So I'd say the Australians winning this. Belt to see if the New Zealander will come out. Yeah, he's definitely controlling the ring right now. And again, trapping Perez in the corner and just letting at it. And this, again, Australians just like just pinning them against the ropes and the corner. Circle out. That's that's that's, that's what, what Perez. Yeah, he needs to put out that jab and, and circle out. Oh, just pushing the uh, seat out of the way. It happens, it happens too often these days, unfortunately, but, you know, it happens. And again, the Australian pinning New Zealander against the ropes. It's just not their day. The New Zealanders are quite cautious, just, like, keep staying away. But every time they came in, they could really do brawl with each other. But I just see the Australian just, like, just getting the upper hand. Yeah, he's super fit and... He's just really letting loose. I'm pretty sure these are uh, two female boxers as well. It's Paige and Nika. 
Page coming from the blue corner from Australia. Nika's getting a little bit in trouble there, just always being pinned against the ropes. That's just great to see, you know. Oh, heavy shots to the body and the head. And that's the end of round two right there. A little bit of Michael Jackson just there to play in the background. But, yeah, the Australians have came prepared. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. You know, they've. I bet all these um, fighters have, have really worked hard, but um, just in terms of the game plan and, and the variation in the game plan, um, Robinson's just really finding her groove, getting getting um, Perez in the corner and just throwing down. And I, I, I tend to agree with you. So the if this was a game, it's kind of like almost button bashing between the two. The third and final round for this, I'd say, 40 kgs? Would you say 35, 30, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, about there. So Rob Robinson, again, trapping Perez in the corner. Perez does nice to move out. Needs to circle out right now. Careful not to also slip onto the ropes as well, because that could be actually technically classed as a knockdown once you start sitting on those ropes. What Robinson's corners is really probably trying to um, gauge is, is just to land, you know? There's a lot of punches thrown. Well, the Australians definitely landing those boxes, but this time New Zealand is actually landing some boxes and is slipping away. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I meant, you know. Robinson's coming forward and throwing a lot of punches in the corner, but not many of them are actually landing. It's nice to see um, still bouncing along, not uh, running out of uh, energy too much. Only got 20 seconds left in this round. Who's going to win this round? I say the Australians just got the upper hand this whole entire fight, but the New Zealanders is just landing now. And last 10 seconds, let's wow. see who comes up with the upper hand and press the judges. Walked right into the left jab. Great fight. Great fight. It's great to see these sorts of fights happening. Good international fight for such a young age. How yeah. often, as you said before, how often do you get to uh, fight an Australian at you know such a young age in amateurs? Yeah, yeah, what an experience for these um, young girls, and and really impressive to see. Like I've said before, the the grassroots level of, of boys and girls, um, it's quite impressive. I like to see more female fighters. Uh, I I know that a lot of female fighters sometimes can be better than male fighters because they just come out with claws on. Yeah, but you, you see, you'd see a lot of uh, technique as well. And we have a winner by way of unanimous decision going to the blue corner. Congratulations to the Australians. They get their second win of the night. She has a brother named Cohen because we had a Robertson earlier today as well. And that's two wins for the Australians. Yeah. It's not a good day for New Zealand at the moment, but but the, the day's not over. We've still got a lot of elites that are ready to uh, jump in. Let's see how they go. 